Hello guys, my name is Nana Ajani Mbwatin Dennis and this is the African Food Network. Today we are about taking you to a food expedition in Medina. We want to take you to certain places that you would get certain meals, not on your regular menu, but you are promised of the best when it comes to the taste, when it comes to their service and their hospitality. If you want a place to enjoy, if you want a place to get all your local indigents and your local food, I think Medina is a place to go because it is a very busy place. So come with me as I take you on this voyage. You would enjoy it. Hello guys, we are now at Coco Boutique where you can get everything beverage and it's a compliment. So I would want you to follow me as we go and then we ask you see, we want to find out what do they have, what is readily available now and what you can take with the porridge. So you follow me, let's go, so that I show you what they serve here. So what you see here is the kosi and basically this one is made, it's made of beans and then there is a little bit blend of pepper and with some secret ingredients. So you see, as you can see, she's whisking it. This is the process it goes through before it's being fried. So that, as you can see, that's what she's doing, yes. Very nice, very natural. And this is our custodian, it's, it's for us. So you, you might ask, so which people take this food? Basically, everybody can take it. But usually, it's a food from the northern sector. You see, they are fan of these porridges and then it's a compliment. They are good at it. If you want something like porridge, cocoa, TZ or so, those stuff, you should take it from a Muslim. So today you can see she's about making one that we call Kosen coin. And this is a blend with egg and then the, the, the kose itself, the beans itself. So that's what she's doing. So she's preparing it. So you add a little bit of salt to the whisk egg and now you add the, the beans paste. So that's what she's doing. Very colorful, very colorful. I'm just imagining it in my mouth. So you see the way it is. It has a very good feel. Okay, so it's now in the saucepan, so it's frying. You can see it's very neat and nice. Wow. Okay, so that's how it's done. That's how it's done. Bet me, whenever you pass by Medina, you will love to taste this meal. It is one of its kind, one of a kind. You will love it. Wow. Okay, so this one is also a cozy, but this one, um, there's no egg inside. This is the raw one. So basically, it means that this one, you wouldn't have a feel of egg. But it's just the beans paste and then the secret ingredient. Okay, so what you see here is waffles and then pinkasso. So you let's talk about the pinkasso first. They're quite round ones. Let me let me pick one so that you see the way it is. So this is pinkasso. It's also made from wheat flour. And so you see it goes through a process and then the round do not like um, shape you see. It's, that, that, that is how it is. That is how it has been done since time immemorial. To so give it a design. And so this is how you see it is made from flour and they add some secret ingredients. Trust me, this one also tastes good. It is best taken with sugar. If perhaps if you are not a fan of sugar because of maybe your health, you can also just take it with the porridge and then you are good to go. It is something that you will love to enjoy. I'm, I'm, I'm entreating you that just pass by, pass by Coco Boutique. As the name says, Coco Boutique. And then have a feel of it. Trust me, you will enjoy it. Again, the next one we have here is the buffalo food. 
So the next one we have here is the golf loaf, and as it's in the sea for the glass, that's one of it. It's also made from flour, basically flour again, with secret ingredients. And trust me, this one there's sugar in it. As part of the preparation process, we add sugar. And so when you, you taste it, you, you will like it. Some people take the buff loaf and the porridge and they do not add sugar to the porridge because there is a little bit of sugar here. So you can take it and you are good to go. It's also one that can be taken at any time of the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. And it is not a reserve of, let's say, some particular people, both the younger, the youth, the aged, everybody can take it. And it is nice, trust me. So yeah, this is tough look. Okay, so this is the porridge. We are going to the porridge cellar. We would want to know the ingredients and the makeup of the porridge. So what's what it's made from? Now the porridge is made from millets. Millets. The millet is, is, is used or is um, placed in water for a number of days. And I think after that it's been sieved and it's grinded. So after the grinding, it goes through other processes to be able to get what we are seeing today as the porridge. Um, they boil it for a number of um, a number of hours, then it is it turns into what we see today. Now, as you can see, she's serving me my porridge. Yes, it's best taken hot, best taken hot. If it is cold, I, you know you wouldn't you wouldn't get a nice feel. It is it is a hot meal. It's best taken hot, and then you 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 are complemented with any of the things you see here: the puff loaf, the kosei coin, which I said is the kosei with the egg in it. The kosei it help. You can also use granite or you can also use bread as a food, as a compliment. So um, I wanted to scoop mine for me so that I sit and I give you um, a preferential taste uh, opinion of how it is. Okay, so as you can see, I have gone for, I'm taking my own. I told you I would taste the kosei kwe before you eat. So this is my porridge and then this is my kosei kwe. As I told you, the kosei kwe is made of um, kwe, granite so, no. puree, um, no beans puree with egg in it. Again, I am going to taste it so that I have a seat and then enjoy it. Okay. So this height is very nice. So there is egg inside. And I'm having a taste of my porridge. Okay. So guys, as we are done here, there is another joint right beside the people We want to give you another So this Ajia serving me my wache, yeah. So this is the wache. You can see different kind of meat. So the wache is made from rice and beans. Then there's a special leaf they put in to give it that color you are seeing. So you can see my macaroni, a bit of macaroni, yeah, a bit of macaroni. Then my ngari too, yes. I want everything too, so that you see that, yes. Yes, and then, okay, so I can see cucumber there, I can see salad, lettuce, 
So this one is the lettuce. Okay, so a bit of cucumber. Don't okay, carrot. So this carrot, you see, so wow. This is a seasoned cucumber. Well, chop this onions, yeah, onion. And then green pepper is what she's also fetching. Wow. Okay, so and then my my small this one is salad. Okay, yo, see that. Okay, that's nice. So the meat need it. You see, you can see chicken. Ah, Ajia, please, what is this? Wait, what is this one? Egg. 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 Ah, egg it's a coin that is soya cane. So she's saying that this is fried egg. Uh -huh. So this is fried egg. Wow, it's, it's very colorful. And this, and this one is our chicken. Okay. Wow, okay. Oh. Wait. Uh -huh. So just, wait. this one is wagashi, right? Okay, so cow basically, cheese. the cow cheese. Basically, it's made from cow milk. Then it is made to settle the fry, the add their secret ingredient, and this is what you see. It's very crispy. And that's how I like it. And this one is the cassava fish. Oh, God. So the cassava fish for you. Very neat. You see the way it is to be very crispy, neatly seasoned. And this one is a cow meat, right? Cow meat. Wow. So if, if you come to Ajia Fulira, you are good to go. You can get everything, everything you want that can complement a wachi. So this is a full set that at least any person can buy at any time. So she's come about giving me my shito. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wow. That's nice. That's nice. Ah, Ajia, now we see you there. Willie. Willie. Mm. Okay, so this, oh, wow. Okay, Willie. That's, that's the name we give to it, but it's also basically gotten from the skin, the skin of a cow. It is neatly clean and processed, and then you see it this way. It gives a nice feel and a nice taste whenever it's in your watch. So it can also be an accompaniment. Uh -huh. So basically, this is how it is. Wow. This is meat. And this one is what? Meat. Meat. Okay, so this one is a special recipe that she has done that usually um, people who buy can complement with it. Uh -huh. So this is also a meat. Wow, okay. A special seasoned one. Wow. Okay. That's nice. Intestine. Intestine. Okay. Wow. Hey, agenda one not be brew. Mm. So viewers, you have a look at this one, the intestine. So as you are seeing it, very well seasoned. Uh huh. It's okay. Very well seasoned. You see the way it is. Uh huh. So we. Look. Okay. So now you can see that now I have been served my meal. Yeah. So I would want you to know everything here. It's fully loaded. So I say this one is almighty chicken, as you can see, neatly seasoned, and then it's here. We also have a cow meat, yes, cow meat, very crispy. If you look at the way it is, it is very crispy. Again, also have this one, yes, this is the fascinating one. Mind you, this is boiled egg which has been seasoned and fried. Boiled egg seasoned and fried. So you see the way it's yellowish, it will taste very nice. And I will also have the wale. The wale, as we affectionately call it. If you buy wache and you don't buy wale, then I don't know what wache you are eating. This one is the skin of a cow. So the cow skin, it is taken off, it is neatly cleaned and seasoned, and then you see it here. And this one is intestine. People think that when an animal is slaughtered, its intestine is just taken away, thrown away. But no, it can serve as a food. It can serve many purposes. So you see, it is well cleaned, it is well seasoned, and then boiled. And today it's a sitting on my watch, and I'll show it where it's supposed to go. Now we also have this one is a seasoned meat. She told me that this is made from a secret recipe that will complement the washing. And then the big one we see here is a cassava fish. Cassava fish, yes. Look at the way it is. Oh God, cassava fish. We have our gari, we have our macaroni, we have our salad, I have green pepper, we have onions. So now I'm set to go. Now, you see, mind you, this one, this is called wagashi. In the local dialect, if you're a Muslim, wagashi, that's the name. But this one is cheese, cheese made from milk, cow milk. So the cow milk is drawn, it's made to settle, and then it's boiled, and then it's fried with a special recipe again. So that is how it is. Now, this is the wachi for you, yes. Mm. As you can see, the wachi, this is made from beans and then rice, with a, 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 a special leaf which gives it the color that you are seeing, the brownish color. So now you let me dish some and then give you a taste and give you a full complement of the way it tastes. Mm. That is nice.
thank you guys as you can see i have dissected everything and then you know it has it, it has fallen in its rightful places and uh, so <laughs> this the remains i'm still on it i'm on the finishing touch uh, we are done everything that i said we tasted it it tastes so good don't pass by Medina without passing by Ajia from the rest to join because you will get everything, the best of its kind. In fact, for a while now, I think this, the watcher that I have eaten, that I have accepted that yes, Nordness are the custodian of watching. And they can do it with their own. Hey, I can't even breathe. It is so good. So guys, we are now at Banku Stars and then as you rightly saw earlier, my Banku was dished out. This one is not um, rolled in any ball, ball like anything. It's in the basin so when you buy, you just tell the seller or the vendor how much you want to buy. I bought just three cities and then with my meat on it and then I'm ready to go. I'm coming to dissect it and then you see how it is. So this is Banku Stars and then it will surprise you that this business has been in operation for almost three decades and it's still running so we asked them what is their secret and they said that it's how affordable it is this is a community food we told you the african food tour we will take you to interland where food you you wouldn't even imagine that we could bring to you that's what we are bringing to you so now we are in medina zongo and then what they say is that banku starts and you respond stomach has no holiday indeed stomach has no holiday and so i would want to break my holiday with what is here okay uh -huh. so basically i have my salmon here this is salmon, yes, yes, from a uh, 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 Ghanaian sea, whatever it came from, it is in my soup today, yeah, so I have two pieces here, yeah, heavy, then I also have my Yamadie, as it's rightly known, this is intestine, part of the intestine family, and so it is seasoned, and then you see that the food is here, now basically, the banku is also made from kondo and then cassava dough, which is, it passes through its own process, and then at the end, it comes out as this nice touch as you see here. So the soup is also made from palm nut soup with um, 
um, spinach chopped in and it's inside to give it that African tradition spice. And so I would want to try it so that you know the way it is. Okay. So basically, I'm taking my muzzle. Mm. So this is my bamboo with my soup. Mm. The thing is nice. Wow. Mm. This is my salmon. This food is called the reserve of any ethnic group. It cuts across. Ours can take it, Bolivians can take it, Nordness can take it, Ashantis can take it. It could be best served in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. It is dependent on the one taking the food. Sometimes you see those who do the difficult work, heavy like the constructors and those stuff, usually they want every food in the morning. No? So they take it in the morning. Mm -hmm. At Bempustas, it's ready at exactly 8 o'clock. So if you are going to work, you can pass by for yours. Mm -hmm. Guys, so you can see, I'm just coming from Bangkustas. That's our last destination or the, la the last place we came on the African food tour. And then as you can see, I took my meal here, Banku, with a lot of meat, and I'm done. But then I would want to let you know that the journey has been very adventurous, it has been exciting. I have learned a lot and I trust you've also enjoyed. Um, it, it has been a fun. And then you know something, I want to say that the people of Medina are very hospitable. The people of Medina, remember when we went to the porridge cellar, the way they were, when we went to the watch and today finally we are at the Banku. They are very hospitable. They welcomed us with a lot of glad tidings and then we were like, wow. And so please, if by any chance you pass by Medina, don't forget to pass by the places that we have shown you. Trust me, you will enjoy their meal. Again, one thing I would also want to say is that subscribe to our YouTube channel, press on the subscribe button, and then share the videos so that it can reach as many people as possible. You know, we are ever ready to serve you best and to serve you better right here on African Food Tour. My name once again is Anajanim Barton Dennis, and this is where I draw the curtains on today's session. Have a nice day.